The movie begins with a traditional fairy tale opening, narrated by a voice reading from a storybook. The narrator tells the story of a beautiful princess trapped in a tower, guarded by a dragon, waiting for her true love to rescue her. The story is interrupted when Shrek rips out a page from the book, using it as toilet paper. He is a large green ogre who lives a solitary life in a swamp. He begins his daily routine, bathing in mud, brushing his teeth with slug slime, and generally enjoying his isolated existence. Shrek's contentment with his solitude is clear. He relishes his life away from society and the judgmental attitudes of others. Shrek's peaceful life is interrupted when a group of villagers, armed with torches and pitchforks, come to his swamp to capture him. They believe Shrek to be a terrifying monster, but Shrek easily scares them off by roaring at them, showing that he's not as fearsome as they think, at least not intentionally. The scene shifts to a group of fairy tale creatures being rounded up by soldiers under the orders of Lord Farquaad, the ruler of Duloc. The creatures are being banished from their homes and brought to Shrek's swamp. This includes characters like the Three Little Pigs, the Big Bad Wolf, and Pinocchio. Among the creatures is a talking donkey named Donkey. Donkey is being sold by an old woman, but when the soldiers realize he can talk, he manages to escape. He ends up running into Shrek, who inadvertently saves him from the soldiers. Despite Shrek's gruff demeanor, Donkey is unfazed and decides to stick with him, much to Shrek's annoyance. That night, Shrek returns home to find that his once peaceful swamp has been overrun by the displaced fairy tale creatures. They've been forced out of Duloc by Lord Farquaad and have taken refuge in Shrek's swamp. Shrek is furious and demands to know who sent them there. The creatures explain that they were sent by Lord Farquaad, prompting Shrek to decide to visit Farquaad and demand his swamp back. Shrek, determined to get his swamp back, reluctantly allows Donkey to accompany him on his journey to Duloc. As they set off, Donkey tries to befriend Shrek, chattering non-stop, while Shrek makes it clear that he prefers to be left alone. However, Donkey's persistence and optimism slowly begin to break through Shrek's gruff exterior. Shrek and Donkey enter the seemingly perfect and overly sterile kingdom of Duloc. They are initially taken aback by how quiet and orderly everything is. As they walk through the entrance, they encounter a mechanical information booth that plays a jingle about how wonderful Duloc is. A few minutes later, Shrek and Donkey stumble upon a tournament organized by Lord Farquaad. The tournament is a contest to determine which knight will be chosen to rescue Princess Fiona, who is locked in a tower guarded by a dragon. Lord Farquaad needs to marry a princess to become king, and he has chosen Fiona for this purpose. Shrek, who is only there to demand his swamp back, interrupts the tournament. Farquaad, seeing Shrek as a threat, decides that whoever can defeat the ogre will be the winner of the contest. However, Shrek easily defeats all the knights, using his size, strength, and unconventional fighting style. The crowd, initially horrified by Shrek's appearance, is eventually impressed by his prowess. After defeating the knights, Shrek demands that Lord Farquaad give him his swamp back, free of all the fairy tale creatures that have been dumped there. Farquaad agrees, but on one condition. Shrek must rescue Princess Fiona from the dragon-guarded tower and bring her back to Duloc so Farquaad can marry her. Shrek reluctantly agrees to Farquaad's deal, seeing it as the only way to reclaim his peaceful life in the swamp. He sets off on the quest with Donkey, who is excited about the adventure. Donkey continues to chatter and make jokes, much to Shrek's annoyance, but their bond slowly begins to grow. Shrek and Donkey embark on their journey to the castle where Princess Fiona is being held. As they travel, they encounter various obstacles and dangers, but Shrek handles them with his typical no-nonsense approach. Donkey, despite his fear, stays by Shrek's side and tries to be helpful, often providing comic relief. During their journey, Donkey tries to understand Shrek better, leading to the famous ogres are like onions conversation. Shrek explains that ogres have layers, just like onions, and that there is more to him than meets the eye. Shrek and Donkey finally arrive at the towering, ominous castle where Fiona is being kept. The castle is surrounded by a moat of boiling lava, and the bridge leading to it is rickety and dangerous. Donkey is terrified, but Shrek encourages him to cross the bridge by claiming there is nothing to worry about. As they cross the bridge, Donkey's fear intensifies, and he freezes in the middle of the bridge, terrified of falling into the lava. Shrek, trying to reassure him, makes light of the situation, but Donkey's anxiety is palpable. Shrek eventually gets Donkey to cross by humorously threatening to leave him behind. Once inside the castle, Shrek and Donkey are immediately aware of the dragon's presence, with signs of destruction and fire everywhere. Shrek instructs Donkey to stay close and be quiet as they begin their search for Princess Fiona, but it's clear that they are in for a dangerous and thrilling encounter. Shrek and Donkey enter the castle, where they soon come face to face with the dragon. Donkey, separated from Shrek, tries to talk his way out of trouble when the dragon corners him. Surprisingly, the dragon, 
who turns out to be female, becomes infatuated with Donkey rather than eating him. This leads to a humorous and awkward interaction where Donkey tries to keep the dragon distracted. While Donkey is occupied with the dragon, Shrek makes his way to the top of the tower where Princess Fiona is being held. He finds her sleeping and wakes her up unceremoniously by shaking her. Fiona, expecting to be awakened by true love's kiss, is disappointed when she sees Shrek, an ogre, instead of the dashing prince she was expecting. Shrek and Fiona don't have much time to argue, as they need to escape from the castle. Shrek grabs Fiona out, despite her protests, and they narrowly avoid the dragon, who is distracted by Donkey. Shrek, Fiona and Donkey manage to escape the castle as it burns behind them, and they make their way back across the rickety bridge. As they journey back to Duloc, Fiona expects Shrek to act like a traditional hero, following the rules of fairy tale rescues. She insists on stopping to make camp, waiting for sunset, and asks for more chivalrous behavior. Shrek, who is practical and down to earth, finds Fiona's demands puzzling and unnecessary. During their journey, Fiona begins to reveal hints of a secret. She insists on stopping for the night and is oddly concerned about being alone as the sun sets. Shrek and Donkey are oblivious to the reason behind her behavior, but it's clear that Fiona is hiding something. That night, while camping, Shrek and Donkey begin to bond as they talk about their lives. Fiona eavesdrops on their conversations and is surprised to learn that Shrek has feelings and insecurities. The next morning, Donkey discovers Fiona's secret. At night, she transforms into an ogre. Fiona is embarrassed and worried that Shrek will reject her if he finds out, so she makes Donkey promise to keep her secret. Donkey, who is shocked but understanding, agrees, but this revelation adds complexity to Fiona's character and sets up further developments in her relationship with Shrek. The group continues their journey to Duloc, with Fiona trying to maintain her facade as a perfect princess during the day while grappling with her ogre transformation at night. Meanwhile, Shrek begins to develop feelings for Fiona but assumes that she could never love an ogre. As they get closer to Duloc, the tension between Shrek and Fiona grows. Both of them are dealing with their own insecurities and misconceptions about what the other might think of them. Donkey, who knows the truth about Fiona, tries to offer advice and encouragement, but his efforts are often met with frustration from both Shrek and Fiona. The next morning, Shrek, now feeling betrayed hands Fiona over to Lord Farquaad without revealing his true feelings. Fiona is heartbroken, but she feels obligated to go through with the wedding. The next day, Donkey confronts Shrek about his behavior. He tells Shrek that Fiona likes him and he needs to stop feeling sorry for himself. Shocked to hear this, Shrek decides to go back to Duloc to stop the wedding. They rush back to Duloc to stop Fiona's wedding to Lord Farquaad. With the help of the dragon, who Donkey convinces to join them, Shrek storms the castle just as the wedding ceremony is about to be completed. As the sun sets, Fiona's secret is revealed to everyone when she transforms into an ogre in front of the entire crowd. Lord Farquaad is horrified and orders his guards to seize her, but the dragon and donkey arrive just in time to stop them. With the villain defeated, Shrek and Fiona share a tender moment. Fiona reveals that she has been under a curse that can only be broken by true love's kiss. When they kiss, the magic takes hold, but instead of transforming Fiona back into a human, she remains an ogre. She is initially surprised and confused, but Shrek reassures her that she is beautiful just the way she is. A few days later, Shrek and Fiona get married in a joyful, unconventional ceremony held in the swamp, surrounded by their fairy tale friends. Donkey sings and dances, and the guests celebrate the union of the two ogres. Make sure to like and subscribe for more notifications. Until next time, see you soon.